I think at one point or another, every kid dreams about being an astronaut. And photography has allowed me to explore that in a totally unexpected way. My name is Tim Dodd, and I'm from Cedar Falls, Iowa. I take pictures of myself as the everyday astronaut, and this is my Flickr moment. As a kid, I loved space. I had space bed sheets and space shuttle Legos, and it's just something that came back to me as an adult. Somehow I, I wound up on some website that had 900 space relics, and I was looking for things that I could afford, because most of them were, you know, like a control panel from an Apollo mission, and it was like $11,000 or something. All the way towards the back, I stumbled upon this Russian spacesuit, and it had no bids on it, so next thing you know, I had a 45-pound box at my doorstep. My girlfriend thought that was the stupidest thing I could have ever bought. And she's like, what are you ever going to do with a spacesuit? And of course, I'm like, what can't you do with a spacesuit? I was down in Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and I ended up in the spacesuit at the Visitor Center. All I wanted to do was take a picture with me and like the NASA sign in the background. And that was a huge mistake, because I'm sitting there in 85 degree weather, and this thing is sealed around my neck, and it's thick, thick, thick rubber. There's like this much sweat in my boots with a line of tourists waiting to get their picture taken with me. I had to eventually just be like, I'm sorry, I can't do any more pictures, I'm about to pass out. The Everyday Astronaut series is my way of projecting my love for space. I didn't want him just to be, oh, you know, here's a spacesuit guy eating ice cream. I wanted it to be something where he's eating ice cream because Apollo 7 was the only mission where they ate ice cream and there's a little Apollo 7 badge in the background. There's actual facts hidden in all the images. I started off with him waking up, and next to the bed, I'm hitting the alarm clock, which says 6.07, which was the wake-up alarm for the last space shuttle mission. Also, there's a little slip of paper on the nightstand, and that is Yuri Gagarin's echocardiogram, the first man in space. In the brushing the teeth photo, there was a NASA space paste, which is the actual toothpaste they use in space. I wrote some equations on the mirror, one of them's for orbital mechanics, and the other one's escape velocity. I think my favorite is the one of me sitting on that little toy space shuttle. His head's down kind of in shame almost. Currently, the United States is not launching any men into space since we've been without the space shuttle program. And to me, that's really depressing. At Kennedy Space Center, you see all these big rockets and the space shuttle there. It's sad that it's sitting there instead of doing what it was designed to do. I hope the Everyday Astronaut series inspires people, especially the people that were able to watch man land on the moon, you know, they can hopefully relive some of those emotions through the images and say, look at what amazing things we were able to accomplish. So I hope that kids keep dreaming about space and keep wanting to encourage the space program.